Hello everybody, it is Gange from Welcome Back to the channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Let's go ahead and get into this Minecraft episode. In today's video, we're actually going to be covering a new building in the village, which I'm very excited to show. I did a lot of decoration work on it lately, and I actually put some other things in there, and villagers have new jobs, which is amazing. So we're going to go ahead and show it off here in a second, but I'm very excited for it. Alright, here we go. As you can see, there's a new building right there in between the blacksmith area and uh, this little area right here. Let's go ahead and look into it. Look at these nice stills we have set up. As you can see, you can't really see inside the building except from the top, which we'll look at in a second. Let me go ahead and open the doors. And right off the bat, you can tell that there's a lot of red and purple going on. There's a nice decoration. I like the red banners a lot, actually. Huge on that. Uh, the brewing stands are set up in a nice little area. We've got the cauldrons evenly placed in the middle, which is I, I happen to like. And then if you go over here, I got a nice little design up for when they're standing and walking and everything. And it adds a little bit more uh, theme to the room, I would say. Other than the nice roots coming down, just to make it look a little bit better. And then right here, we got the glass sky view, which I happen to really love for the buildings. So we put it back, and as you can see, there's some monsters out there, which I do not like. But overall, everything's looking good in here. The only other thing that we really need is the resources to make the potions, like blaze, uh... Well, the blaze rods are fine, so we don't really need to worry about blaze battle. What we need to worry about is the gas tails and the other resources like that. And we get, need to get that another wart too. I need to set up another wart farm somewhere. The only thing is I have to figure out where I want to set that up at. And currently I don't really have a spot for it. But it shouldn't be too hard because we don't need too much. But it depends on how many potions we're trying to make at once. As you can see, I got all these uh, brewing stands set up so we can make multiple at a time. Which is good. So we can get three of one potion at, at a time as long as we got uh, the bottles in there. Which is good that we have that glass that we have over there in the inventory area. So it's good that we have the glass saved up for buildings and that. So not to worry about making bottles and everything. So now we just gotta get those resources and we should get the potions going within no time at all. As you can see, since we put the cauldrons down now, we actually got some leather workers in the village. And I actually like how they look because some of them really do match the design inside the thing with the purple outfit and then some of the other ones that are from the desert have a different apron which is like the brown color but that's fine as well but it's pretty cool that we have um about eight new jobs for the village and they're from the cauldrons which is amazing so we can get some more trading in with the other locals and possibly get some other different types of resources from them too which i happen to enjoy quite a bit as you can see the people are coming to walk and there's quite a bit of walkers in here with all the things I put down, which is completely okay, but as you can see, it can get quite a bit crowded, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode right here for today, guys, I really do appreciate you coming by, let me know what you think of the new building, I really do like the design, hopefully you guys like it too, but I'll catch you guys next time, Games from out, have a wonderful day.